Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun video. It is my December haul video, so I got a lot of good stuff and I am so excited, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is some items that were gifted to me by the brand Kaleidos, and they sent me, <laughs> they sent me these two cute little boxes that held their adorable Lunar New Year lipsticks. So they have two shades, there is the shade Collision, and then we have one called Ambition, and these are two beautiful red shades to celebrate the Lunar New Year. This one is a metallic, I haven't tried it yet, but it has like a beautiful red metallic tinge to it. And then the other one is a matte. And I did wear this to, well, not a matte, but you know what I mean? It's not as metallic as the first one, but I did wear this one to work the other day and it was very comfortable. The only thing is these don't completely dry down. So it did transfer. So if you're planning on like eating and stuff, I would definitely advise caution with that but these are so beautiful and it's always nice to have a comfortable red lip because i usually wear a matte liquid lipstick when i'm wearing red red lipsticks and so it's nice to have like a more comfortable option and i think these are such beautiful shades for the new year and i'm trying to clean my hand so yeah very excited about that launch from them can't wait to see what else they have in store for 2020 is this bronzer by ColourPop and it's called Talk to the Palm and it's a pressed powder bronzer and I like it because it comes in this little compact. It also has a mirror and I don't know, I was just in the mood to try a new bronzer. I am wearing this bronzer today. I feel like the shade is pretty good with my skin tone. I don't really have full thoughts on it yet. I need to wear it a little more and see what I think. And then this I just picked up from Sephora. This is the new Tatcha. Well, it's not new, but this lip mask sold out so fast from Tatcha when it first launched. This is the Kisu Lip Mask for all skin types. This ultra soothing Japanese peach seed jelly smooths, plumps, and helps restore overnight for soft pillowy lips. Now I know everyone and their mom loves the Laneige lip sleeping mask and I swear to God, I feel like that mask is so overhyped because even though it does help like hydrate my lips when I initially use it, I feel like when I use it long term, I don't feel like it hydrates my lips as much. So I don't know, I'm really iffy about that mask. Like I think I like the idea of it. I like the price point. I like how much product you get. I like all the different flavors, but I honestly am not sure if it really works for me. So I would rather suggest other lip masks. So I was just really excited that Tasha finally restocked this because it was out of stock for the longest time and now you can buy it at Sephora. So I grabbed it right away and this is already in my upstairs bathroom where I do like my nighttime skincare and I did use it last night before going to bed and I felt like my lips were so, so chapped. So it definitely did help my lips feel a lot more supple this morning, which I am very happy about. Okay, so over the holiday season, ColourPop did launch some Volt collections and I did pick up this guy. This is the Feeling Euphoric Mini Glitterly Obsessed Vault. And these are so cute. They're little mini pots of their Glitterly Obsessed glitters <laughs> they're like this jelly glitter that's like suspended in like a clear base and so they are so pretty and i just like using these to add like an extra oomph you know to any eye look and i just love that these come in such small pots so i can use them up easier versus the full size it's a little bit bigger and then i picked up both of their eyeliner volts i've wanted this one forever and it finally went on sale so i picked this one up and this is the one they came out with for the holidays so cute it's called star cross colors and the packaging is so pretty and then i just put them all in this little holder so these are the ones in their regular collection. And then these are the ones that came out for the holidays. I definitely have like inconsistencies as far as their eyeliners. Some work so well, like their red pencil is probably like my favorite eyeliner of 2019. And I'm gonna put that in my best 2019 video. 
but some like their neons weren't the greatest. So I thought I'd try out a new fresh set and see if they were still inconsistent or maybe they tweaked the formula and I just had some older pencils laying around. So, so far I've really, really been enjoying these colorful eyeliners and I definitely plan on not purchasing any more colorful eyeliners in 2020 just because I need to finish up some of the ones I currently have. Okay, so the next things I purchased in December were with a Sephora coupon. I actually used up one of these, which let me tell you, skincare hardly ever gets used up in my collection. I'm just very slow at using things up. So this is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer, and you get five fluid ounces with this, and it's for normal to dry skin. This is probably the best toner I've used in a long, long time, and the original one I picked up was, I think, from the one of the sales that they did. I think this end of summer sale. So I was happy to be able to get another one because I replaced the one that I keep here in my beauty room. And I really like this. I feel like I'm gonna continue to repurchase that product because it doesn't strip my skin, but I can definitely tell that it is hydrating my face as well as doing some cleanup before I put on my next step, which is usually like a moisturizer in my daytime and nighttime skincare routine. The other product I picked is a eye cream and you guys had suggested this in one of my VIB sale videos. This is the Biosan Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream. This thing is expensive so I had $25 off a $75 purchase and I wanted to get like eyeshadow palettes and things like that and I'm like Karen why don't you just be smart and pick up something that you're gonna get a lot of use out of so since a lot of you had recommended this eye cream I did decide to pick it up I've only used it a few times I don't see any major differences from using this but I do typically like to have an eye cream because I do want to have hydrate and under eyes so that my concealer can like sit on something and not like crease and get crusty so I like to use eye creams and yeah that's just my latest one. Next thing I bought was Lights Lacquer's holiday collection. They came out with some really pretty new nail polish shades and of course I'm so interested in her nail polish brand so I really really like the holiday collection as well and I'm actually wearing one of the shades on my nails as well. I left it in my living room which is where I was painting my nails and came into my beauty room and I was too lazy to go get it for this video but I've really been enjoying Lights Lacquer. This is her second collection that she's launched um, so far and I'm very excited to see what she comes out with next. I always loved Kale Polish so I'm so so happy that Kathleen Lights has a new nail polish brand for us to all enjoy. Okay so I did make some Ulta purchases in the month of December. I think these actually I bought in November but they are gonna be in this video because I don't think I talked about them in my November video but I did pick up some Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powders in Truth. I have Amnesia as well as Adults Only. I love Adults Only. It's like my new favorite like face product obsession. I even talked about this in my favorites video that I did with a bunch of YouTubers. Actually Emily put it together and I was in the video with a bunch of other creators so I'll try and remember to link that in my comments or description box for you guys to check out because she basically was inspired by Alana Davison I believe is her name and she asked a bunch of smaller creators what their favorite product was from 2019 and then compiled it together and I thought that was a stellar idea. Emily is so creative you guys should definitely be checking her out. Then I bought this palette this is so silly but I am such a dog mom. If you guys didn't know that about me, I have two dogs, two rescue puppies. One is named Teddy and one is named Lucy and they're always in my Instagram stories. If you guys follow me there, you would have seen them and I just love this little packaging. So this is I Heart Revolution Revo Pooches. 18 shades of intense pressed pigments. I have their avocado palette as well as their coffee palette and I haven't used any of them. I feel like I just buy these for the cute packaging. Um, I don't know about this like other eyeshadow combination, um, but eventually I'm gonna test these out, but I really just bought it for the cute little puppies on the cover. 
because I'm a sucker. So I placed this order again on Black Friday as well and I'm putting it in my December haul but I did place an order with Shop Missé and they have this brand called AOA and they have a bunch of products for like very very affordable prices and girl I'm always looking for a good eye brush set so this eye brush set from them was only ten dollars and I think I got it on sale so I did pick it up because I love having affordable brushes in my collection. It's one of those things where I hate splurging on expensive brushes, so I'm very curious to try those brushes out and I will report back to you guys. And then I wanted to try this little tweezer just because they're so handy to have around and these are a dollar and my friend Ellie recommends them. And then I also picked up a nail clipper for one dollar because I mean, why not? And I think my friend Emily Han Han recommended their brush cleaner. So I just grabbed one to try out and see how it was because I have the Veramona one, but that one was getting a little crusty. And so I figured I'd try the cheaper alternative first. Okay, so I have one last thing to talk about before I dive into a bunch of palettes, and that is the ColourPop Shimmering Body Powder in Pink Champagne. I think this was one of those things that Angelica definitely influenced because she was talking about how she thought this was so pretty, and I was like, ooh, it is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of that highlighter I was obsessed with from Anastasia in the loose version. And so I was like, ooh, let me try it. It's like a beautiful pink with a gold shift and yeah. Oh, it doesn't smell as suntanny. Oh, no, I smell, smell it now. But yeah, I just picked it up to try out and these are pretty affordable and you get a lot of product. I really can't wait to try that on my actual body in the summertime. Okay, guys, so I actually picked these up towards the end of December. I had no idea Juvius was gonna come out with these and I like panicked. I like... I like started breathing heavy at work I think when I bought these and I just like I bought them so these are the new Juvia's Place mini palettes I have violets I have nudes I have berries and I have chocolates hopefully a video on these is already up on my channel oh I'm so excited that Juvia's Place did something new they've been one of those brands I've kind of been watching from the sidelines recently because I haven't been like obsessed with some of their newer things but when I saw this I was like oh my gosh yes and so I'm so excited to play with these guys because if they're anything like Juvia's other palettes I know they're gonna be really really good quality so the next thing I picked up this is another Black Friday purchase these are the sugar drop eyeshadows from Divina and they had a good sale on Black Friday where you could get them like half off so these are like $70 eyeshadows and I got them for like around $40 and I was very excited because you guys know I love iridescent shimmers as inner corner highlights and I am wearing them as a inner corner highlight today and then on my eyes today is the new Cindy Grace Enduring Love Palette. This was sent to me in PR and I should have a video about this palette up on my channel already and if you guys are curious I will try and remember to link that up in the cards for you guys but yeah I really am enjoying this palette so far I've only used it once at the time I'm filming this video but I generally love everything Sydney Grace comes out with so very excited for that palette and then I also got this in PR this is the Aurora palette from Shop Alter Ego this is their dupe to the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette and this is what it looks like I already have a video on this palette up on my channel so I'll try and find it for you guys and yeah it's beautiful now the palette that I've already done a video on this is Ace Beauté's Vintage Dawn palette I am so attracted to this color story unfortunately I don't love this palette um, the eye look I did with this with this palette the first impressions video I liked how the eye look turned out in the end but I tried to use this palette again and I was just having the worst time blending it I literally took my eyeshadow off and started over with a different palette because I was just having such a horrible time with that palette so I'm really sad because I love the color story but I don't necessarily love the formula so I'll probably give it a few more tries and depending on how it goes I may end up 
decluttering that palette because life is too short. So the next two palettes I picked up are kind of a controversial palette at this point. These are the Papagrath Star Wars palettes. She also came out with some lipsticks as well as a relaunch of the Decadence palette. I've already filmed a video with this guy and I will try and remember to link that for you. I have not filmed a video with the red palette yet because I actually got this one much later than the um, gold one just because there was so much bad weather in my area and it just took for, forever for me to get all my products that I had been ordering recently but yeah I'm so happy I have these and I honestly am one of those people that enjoyed the last movie. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan but I've seen all the movies just by being married to who I'm married to but yeah, I, I thought it was a good movie and I'm really glad I got my hands on those two palettes. So another thing I picked up recently or actually I ordered these in November but they came in December is some new shades from the Cleonade stained glass collection. So this whole row are shades that I recently got and then this row are also recent and I did do a swatch party video with my friend Brittany Clark here on YouTube and I will remember to link that down in the description box for you guys in case you want to see what those shadows swatch like. Then I believe I got these in December but I can't quite remember. I'm just gonna give them a little shout out. I ordered some eyeshadows from the brand Adept Cosmetics and I got a few shades. I got like six shades and then the brand reached out to me and sent me a few more so now I have a nice big palette full of Adept Cosmetics eyeshadows and I really really like them. Spoiler alert. So very very happy that I have those. <laughs> And then more things from Black Friday, I did place a Terra Moon Cosmetics order and that came in as well in December. And the shades I have been lusting over are the Chameleon shades. And they do kind of remind me of the um, Davina Sugar Drop collection, but I will have to compare them at a later time. But I love the Chameleons. And they were also kind enough to send me some extra eyeshadows that I didn't order as well as these cool pigments that I have not played with yet but I'm so grateful that they thought of me and sent me those because I'm a really small channel so anytime a brand acknowledges my existence I get a little I get a little dizzy girl you know what I mean okay so a few more palettes I have been lusting after this little palette at first I didn't want it but so many people have raved about this little um, what is this palette called? The Sugar Pill Mini Color Palette, the fun size palette. And I was like, give it to me. So then it was out of stock for like ever. And then I finally saw that it was in stock on Alta's website. So I picked it up and I am so excited about that. And then I picked up more things from Nabla. I was so excited for this palette. As you guys can see, I have two. I got this one first. And two of the shades are completely shattered. I'm getting this like everywhere, as you can tell there. And I posted it on my Instagram stories if you guys are nosy like that. And then they sent me, Alta sent me this replacement and it's completely shattered in this one as well. So my plan is to just take those to my local Ulta store and get my money back because I'm done trying to get more replacements from them. And then I did decide to go ahead and get this palette when it launched on Ulta as well. This is the Nabla Dreamy 2 palette. I don't know what it was. I couldn't pull the trigger when it was on sale when it launched on Nabla's website. As soon as it came to Ulta, I grabbed it and I'm very excited to play with it because those shadows, I'm like really into like grungy colors right now. So I'm very excited to play with that. Another thing I ordered during Black Friday were the Menagerie palettes. I have a very like, I don't know, it's like a rocky relationship with Menagerie because I want them to do well, but I don't love their eyeshadow formula, especially for the price point. I feel like they're a little bit more than what I want to spend on eyeshadows, but if I can pick them up on a sale, I'm okay with it because what happened when they originally launched their eyeshadows, I bought them at full price and I was really salty because they went on like a great deal during Black Friday that year. So now I'm just like, hmm. I'm not going to buy them full price. I just don't love them enough to buy them full price. But if I can get them on a deal, of course I'm going to pick them up. So this is so cute. This is the Killer Purr palette. I didn't get this initially because it's very neutral and I have the shades a hundred times over. But I fell in love with the packaging because they do some amazing packaging. And then this palette has been so hard to get. This is the Violet Ink palette and they 
sold out of this and then they did a pre-order so you could get it at the discounted price pre-ordered so that's what I did and it's adorable I am excited to play with all those fun purpley shades and then last but certainly not least is this guy this is the ColourPop it's all good palette and I wasn't gonna get this but I don't know it's kind of a fun color story and I've been loving my so jaded palette from ColourPop it was one of those palettes that I picked up not right away and then once I got it, I wasn't as inspired to play with it. But recently, I was inspired to play with it and have been really enjoying it. So I was like, oh, why not? Let's get the last palette of the year from ColourPop. And then I did pick up the Bare Necessities for gifts for my friends because my friends love neutral eyeshadows. So I scooped one of those up for them um, to give to my best friend as a Christmas gift. And she's loving that palette but I thought this one was a really fun color story once I purchased it I was like okay it looks just like the sunrise palette like I clearly already have these shades but like I said I love the so jaded so much I wanted to have this and I'm honestly contemplating going on like a color pop no buy for at least a couple of months in 2020 just because I don't need it I feel like there's so many people out there making color pop videos and they're so impossible to keep up with anyway I'm just gonna buy what I love to buy I'm not gonna buy stuff just like for review purposes really from color pop I yeah I feel like I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and see if I can control the urge to just buy color pop unfortunately their price point is so low that it's so tempting for me but it's a new year, it's a new decade, and we're gonna try and work on ourselves here at Karen Harris Makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed my December haul video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.